Gary Russell Jr. against Mark mm. Maxwell. Um, a lot of people in the comment section weren't very content, I'm going to say, with the uh, decision, maybe. Um, they thought uh, Maxayo maybe didn't deserve the win because of the way that he ended that second half of the fight, fighting against a one-handed fighter. You know, you got to yeah. give props to Gary Russell Jr. I'm not the biggest Gary Russell Jr. fan, but, you know, I give him props for fighting the way he did basically seven rounds even with all the extra stuff going on outside of the ring the distractions the long layoff you know i kind of felt bad for him um i thought max Zayo was going to be able to close out the show he started off very well first two three rounds max Zayo was was really timing gary and fighting very well after the the shoulder injury i don't know what, what exactly happened to max Zayo. kind of took his gas off the off the pedal yeah foot off the pedal sorry I got, I got to ask, Gio, how did you, how would you have scored this fight? How, how did, who did you see winning? Who did you see losing? Uh, that's a tough one. I got to watch it again. I got to watch it again. Uh, we mentioned many times on this podcast, I don't score. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily score fights. I did miss a couple rounds because I was doing some other stuff. So I will have <laughs> to go back. Um, I must say, though, I must say, I think it was very difficult for me to score you know, some of those rounds for Gary Russell Jr. in the second half of the fight. Obviously, mm -hmm. he was very limited, so he could only throw uh, punches with one hand. Um, he <laughs> didn't throw enough, in my opinion, so it was very difficult for me to just be able to score those rounds for him, man. Just very tough as a judge, I think, when when he's throwing 15, 20 punches in a round. Um, yeah. And Max Zayo, even though he was ineffective... Um, he was still coming forward. He was still still able to land, um, not as effective as not as effective as we would have liked, I'm sure. But it's just very difficult. I think I had Maxayo winning, but like I said, I, I missed a couple rounds, so I have to go back and watch it again. Yeah, yeah. I, I think somebody said this analogy best. It was it was just two guys, you know, running a marathon. One guy, you know, obviously just trying to make it to the finish line but couldn't and the other guy having a clear space to just finish and win and, and just being there at the same pace and barely getting past the line barely at the end um yeah a lot of people felt mark mcsayo should have you know obviously made it much more clear with the one-armed uh, gary russell and, and just either either was not as accurate um was not as you know obviously the, a lot of volume punching but not not as cleanly or as 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 clearly you would want somebody to, to take out a one armed opponent. But um again, I, I feel like a, a lot of these judges in a sense, I obviously don't go in with this mentality, but maybe in a sense they just it was it was almost a time for Gary Russell to, you know, for his reign to be over. Again, it's you know, a lot of fans are not are, are not too happy with the inactivity of Gary Russell Jr. And again it was you, you you know if he had this other hand and no injury he would have won this fight but um it was just it was in a sense a perfect storm for this titles to to take to change hands uh uh Manny Packer congratulated uh Mark McSayo on you know winning this this title and in a sense it just to me the good thing that comes out of this is that I feel like that there will be more more bouts for this title the WBC featherweight championship of the world which is a very coveted title and well, yeah, we Gary fought two. once a year, so definitely there would, yeah. there would be more chances. Man, some fighters get six fights in one year, a.k.a. Canelo, but nah. But I, the good thing that comes out of this, in a sense, is we'll, we'll hopefully get more title defenses, more bouts for, for this for this title. Or even Again, a rematch. Also, Maybe, even a a rematch. Maybe even a rematch. Maybe even a rematch next year. Because <laughs> Gary, <laughs> Gary, <laughs> Gary won't Man. be fighting this year, it seems like. You know what? It's crazy because it seemed like the one year he wanted to fight more than once. You know, this injury happens in the loss. So, kind of tough, tough break there. Tough loss um, for Gary Russell Jr. Uh, majority decisions at the end of the day, man, in, in Atlantic City. 114-114. Uh, one of the judges, the other two had it 115-113 for Maxayo. So, very close fight. They had it uh, fairly close. Um like I said, if if Gary obviously had two hands and he was able to throw more punches, I think he he would have uh, walked away with a win. 
Uh, I mean, who knows when we would have seen him again in the ring. Yeah. Um, but I think even as a one-handed fighter, I think he showed a, a lot of good boxing, man. Um, obviously, yeah. he had to use his IQ more so than, than his physical ability. We know he's quick. We know he's fast. But he only had one hand. So that made it just very, very tough, man. Very tough for him. Um, Gary Russell, we'll see what happens. He's 33 years old, so we'll see what happens from, from now on. Yeah, I got to ask you, Gio, what are your thoughts on, on Gary Russell Jr.'s uh, career? I think we both we both we both the unison that he's a very talented fighter, very a lot of skill, a lot of speed. Waste of talent. Waste of yeah, talent. We'll, we'll you know, work. I feel like I feel like when when you think waste of talent, I don't know why in the world people always said A B, Adrian yeah. Broner. Uh, I never saw A B as that dude. You know, I I don't mm -hmm. know why when that phrase comes up, people say Broner Broner. Nah, like. Yeah. If we're talking about like real talent and wasting it, I think of guys like Russell. You know, he could have yeah. he could have dominated the lighter divisions. Um, instead, mm -hmm. he chose to fight once a year. Um, as of as of late, he wasn't really he hasn't been really challenging any of the top guys at 122 mm -hmm. or 126 or 130. I know he's been talking a lot about you know guys like Gervonta or you know moving up in weight, but he hasn't done it. So to yeah. me, that's wasting your talent. He, I feel like only because he could have done so much more. You know, he, <laughs> he's faced very, very good opponents. Kiko Martinez, he's, he's faced, you know, Lomachenko or Lomachenko schooled him. Yeah, I think wasted talent. I think he could have done so much more. I think he could have he been yeah. one of the top pound for pound, pound for pound fighters in the world with, with that amount of skill that he possesses. And he, I don't even think he... He ever made it in the top 10, top 15 pound for pound yeah. simply because he wasn't Facts. very active. Facts. Yeah, for, for me, um, I feel like there's no shame in losing to Alomachenko. There, there, there's no shame in losing to, to who was at that time the contestants. Like, he should have fought Leo Santa one. Cruz. That's the one he, sh he should have yeah. fought. He, he should have fought Leo. Yeah. For, for, for me, um, I, I think Gary Russell with the speed and with the skill set, like, I think he's a very talented fighter. But he's a type of fighter that didn't take enough risk, or like we said, not not active enough. I think of another fighter who's gonna fight next month, who was also very talented and took too many risks in Amir Khan, uh -huh. and but he gave fans very fan friendly, very memorable fights. That's why even now, past the due date, a lot, a lot of people will still watch that fight, even though it pisses a lot of people off. You and me included. Um, but Gary Russell is just one of those guys that just did not, you know. When he fought, he let his hands go, but once a year. You fight two, three times a year, you lose the title over there, you're getting it back, you'll get the respect of the fans, you'll get, um, like you said, on those pound-for-pound -pound lists. People will respect you, people will remember you. I don't think, I think Gary Russell might go down as one of those guys that had the skills and had everything going, but he just did not fight enough.